guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina, and today um, I'm just doing a really fast look. We're going to do my summer ready and go look because you know the heat just gets it all off you anyway. First thing I use to deal with summer issues with the melting problem because it's 100 degrees is Scandinavia Makeup Priming Spray. I do not know what is in this stuff. But I can tell you, it is freaking amazing. I already did my BB cream and stuff before I even thought about this. So what I use is the Naked Skin Urban Decay Beauty Balm. And I mix it with a little bit of drops from Hard Candy. I really like the way this works. It gives you a lot of coverage very lightly. And in the summer, I don't know about you, but I don't want a lot of makeup on my face. I did my brows just with a pomade by Elizabeth Mott and a Styles concealer. So this is very similar to the YSL concealer highlighter in that it's very light. It isn't what some people are going to consider a concealer. But in the summer, I find this works best because the heat causes makeup to melt into fine lines and then they stand out and that looks terrible and nobody wants that. I just got this the other day. I have fallen in love with it. It is the Better Bod by Tarte. It is liquid bronzer and contour color. It's very pigmented. And literally, I just use a blender and just put it in my skin. It doesn't even really look like I have it on there, but it is enough and it is light, and it doesn't feel heavy or crappy or any of those things. I'm taking my new favorite palette, the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. Love this palette. Very easy to do, an all-in-one look, and that is what oh. we're doing. And the reason I'm using this Beauty Balm SPF 20, I put it over the top of an SPF 50 moisturizer that is by Olay that just soaks into my skin and I leave that on there about 20 minutes ahead of time. Now you are caught up with where I am right now. I'm taking my Wayne Goss number 16 brush and I'm putting it in Big Daddy, which is this color right here. Just gonna put that all over my lid. Going from high end to low end today, I'm using my e.l.f., just a light pencil type brush, and I'm going to grab Natural Peaches, which is just a peach color there. And I'm just putting that in my crease. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of Man Cat, which is this dark purple, and literally, we're just... So now just blend that together and smudge. I smudge with my finger. I'm taking Wayne Goss number 18 brush. And I'm gonna grab something, which is right here. It's a very light color. And I'm just putting that on my lid. I'm taking Gator Wings, which is the highlighter. Just putting that and highlighting my brow bone, coming around the top of that. I'm just gonna go back in with the clean blending brush and blend the lid, not the brow bone. Top lid, all done, super fast. Now I'm going to take a tiny bit of Man Cat and do this outer corner right here. And I'm gonna take some hashtag SFS, which is this one right here, and I'm going to do all the rest of the way under my eye. Just my eyes, that's it. So we're doing a blush brush, and I'm gonna grab, does this thing really work? And this beautiful blush right here, just tap that in. And I'm just gonna take it over the top of my face uh, to give that sun-kissed effect, and a little around the top. I'm gonna grab a little bit of sweet tea on this same brush, and bronze a little bit with it, because I want that really fresh, summery look. I'm just gonna take a big powder brush and make it all blend in. And now I'm gonna take some no RCMA no color powder buffing brush. I am not gonna bother with um, tight lining my eyes. Probably I want to tight line my eyes because it looks so much better when you do. But it comes off. I think I'm just gonna use this Beauty For Real in brown and do my upper waterline real quick. It but I have to. I can't help it. 
some people, you probably don't need to do this as much, but just because of my complexion, it makes a huge difference. So I just did my upper waterline and a tiny bit of the outer corners of my lower waterline to give my eyes a little definition. Line my lips with my Fiona, Fiona Styles lip liner. I'm just gonna throw on my mascara. Um, no lashes today. It is too hot for that. Look is taking me about 15 minutes. Real life, generally this look takes me 10. Using my Elizabeth Mott. They're so long. Mascara, love this mascara. It doesn't transfer, it doesn't go anywhere. I don't want it, super important. So whatever mascara does that for you, use it. To curl my lashes, I'm just putting a tiny bit of mascara on and then, yeah, 10 count with a tiny bit of mascara, not a lot. If you ever notice you get these little clumpies in your lower lash line, just take a Q-tip and run it right across underneath and sort of lift up. Otherwise you get those little spots down here and I need to wait till my it all dries before I pull that off. I'm gonna take my Tarte Liquid Lipstick in Festival. Just put on my lipstick like that. And that's now it. I'm taking my Scandinavia Finishing Spray because yeah, we don't want my makeup to melt off. I'm doing that with it. And now, in my experience, this will stay just like this throughout most of the day. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope this helped you. Uh, summer is such a hard time getting makeup to stay on. It is so hot right this now. This look is perfect for that because, and it won't melt off your face, especially if you use those two products by Skin I have had no problems with my makeup shifting at all during the summer when I use that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye!